Marker. It's hard to make it in Hollywood. It's really hard. And um, I feel like this movie really gave an him an opportunity to show himself a little bit more. Hi, I'm Blair Robertson and uh, I'm an actor. I've been studying acting since I was like 13 years old. It's always been a, a passion of mine uh, to be an actor in the film industry. But I have to admit, it's very difficult uh, for someone who's uh, focally challenged. As a woman, it's really hard to make it in Hollywood, you know, it's, it's really hard to kind of, to put your foot in the door. And um, I feel like people of his capacity are not that highlighted usually. I've, I've done a, a lot of bit roles here and there you know, mainly background work. Usually all background work. But you know, it's like any actor. You gotta work your way up. Uh, it's, it was actually really cool to see that they were casting for actors with, you know, my situation. I mean, I just love the direction Hollywood is going right now. To see actors of different ethnicities, you know, genders, uh, focal lengths, to be recognized in this industry and being shown on screen. He had to create this whole presence. It's almost like an entity. It's acting without words. It's acting with behavior. And the camera managed to capture that. For a blur, he was really focused. He was there, he was present, and he wasn't really trying to be anything other than a blur. She was such a great collaborator. Usually, I don't really work up front with actors that much. I'm usually always in the back. Uh, sometimes I've been in, in the foreground, but uh, never in the middle. We really worked really well with each other. Between takes, we'd goof around, make jokes, all that stuff. But when it got down to the work, it was just it was amazing. This was just a first step. And if he keeps at it, he's really gonna be, he's gonna be really successful. I, I believe, I just, I, I can't wait to see what's next for him. I have a couple projects lined up, possibly. I got uh, some theater work that I'm really excited about. Uh, Taming of the Shrew. I think I'm playing the Shrew. Yeah, I'm really excited about it and to see what happens next. He's giving a chance for other actors just like him, and he gives them hope and belief in themselves, so I feel like he could, he could be the next big thing.